Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and Mac with Sequoia Beta 1 is here, and the questions are coming in. What is the current status of OpenCore Legacy Patcher for unsupported Macs in the current version? We're going to do a quick overview of the warnings that I want to be able to make sure that you understand and the status. Let's jump in and get started. Let's first jump in with the things that we do know. First of all, there is a statement from the developers in the Discord chat to address Mac OS Sequoia and OpenCore Legacy Patcher. This statement was released from Dina K, who is the co-developer of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, and he makes it pretty firm in both statements from uh, the 9th and the 10th where Sequoia was announced. And it's a stern statement because he wants to make sure that we are not trying to install the beta on our unsupported Macs yet because of the fact of it could cause problems. And the idea is, is that if you're trying for fun, that's one thing. But if something breaks or something's not working, they want to make extremely clear that they are telling you not to do this right now. And I know everybody's excited. I'm excited. Everybody's excited about trying the latest operating system that's out Sequoia and, I, and trying it out on your unsupported Mac. But again, that's better way to get on a safe path and let the developers do their work. Try not to, and I know you're not doing this, but the, they've asked not to just say, hey, when is it gonna be supported? When can we expect it to be supported? They are just looking at it right now and doing the best that they can. And it's gonna take some time to overview all the different changes in Mac with Sequoia before an official release is put out. And you can bet that I'm gonna be right here when that first release comes out and I'll walk you through the entire process. But until then, it's better to take a more cautious approach on doing this. Now, with that said, I still have a fun update to be able to show. I wanted to show that I was able to get Sequoia installed on my XServe. And it's a fun thing because I do this every year. It's kind of like a little bit of a, a thing that I do for the first unsupported Mac that I have. Here's my shot from last year when I got Mac OS Sonoma installed on my server. I just love the X server and I think it's fun to see the latest version on this old server hardware that wasn't even supposed to be even close to being supported yet. But with this said, um, again, I took the risk to do that. But again, I just wanted to show you that that gives me a little bit of hope, not even knowing anything. I haven't talked to anybody, any developers about this because there's no way that I'm going to broach that subject right now because again, all the work that they are looking at that. But I thought it would be fun and I took those risks, but I don't want you to take a risk and have a problem with your machine and have it in a state where it's not booting or anything like that. But I wanted to show the fact that it can even install and run extremely slowly because it's obviously not accelerated. The patcher has built-in protections not to install the patches onto an unsupported operating system, which is Sequoia right now. So it won't even install the root patches for graphics acceleration or Wi-Fi or anything like that. So with that in mind, that's what I, again, I wanted to show a little bit of a fun hope, but also a stern warning to please be careful and look at what the developers are posting out there. These guys are the experts and they are giving you all the information here that we need to know. And that's a quick update video. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a quick update of what's going on uh, with Open Core Legacy Patch. And if I get any more new information or you got any more changes, and let me know in the comments if you're excited about it. Are you holding off? So what do you think of Sequoia so far? Are you? Do you think it's got a lot of changes in it? Are you happy to see that the support for the current Mac models, how none of the 2018 or the 2017 iMac Pro were killed is amazing in my opinion. I want to know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments. And thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.